hello guys welcome to another challenge temporary image uh, so so it's a, a simple website that lets you upload image uh, as you already know it only lets you upload png images so let's try to upload one png image um, save png okay and this looks like this so if you keep double dash it will take you to the previous directory that's file directory which is forbidden so let's look into the first in it tells about the file upload the file name and the small change to the path so let's go back to the um to the upload form let's try to see this uh in the form section let's expand it recursively so there is this one uh, input field called field uh, uh, called file name which is hidden okay that makes sense um, because it's a uh, it's the file name and it's the file the actual the blob the png file and then i have been proxying my request in the proxy proxy so let's dive into the bob suite this is the post request that i made to send the uh, PNG to the server. Let's send it to the repeater so you can get more attention. Uh, this WebKit form boundary it uh, actually helps to separate your actual request headers with other form data. In this case, the PNG image and its file name. Also, pay attention to the content disposition header. Uh, it's used to send multi-part form data in your uh, request. You can read more about this set here. Uh, so again this is the png file everything all of this is the png file and at the end you'll find the file name which is again the uh, the uh, the part of the uh, form data so let's try something if you go back to the page where you uploaded this image and inspect the tools we have ubuntu and php so this site is running on the linux server so we can traverse this url like you will traverse the linux file system so if i give a forward slash and two dot it will take you to the uh, parent directory which is file which is forbidden if you again give two dots it will take to the main directory uh, which is not forbidden so possibly maybe we can upload our image in this directory so for that we need to go to the bob suite again so we have to go to two directories before right for that forward slash double dance forward slash double dance forward dance and that should be it and let's send this request once again um and guys that is our first flag and if you will follow the redirection it will take you to this let's and see you can find your image here and for the second image it tells about uh, bypassing the external check and reading png chunk so if you go back now uh, you know right uh, uh, we can only upload the png file so can you bypass this extension let's go back into the bob suite to the proxy let's send this request one second to the repeater and uh, you can try to actually uh, replace dot uh, slash png with slash jpeg and try to upload other files but that won't work uh, but you know maybe we can uh, bypass this but what can we do like by bypassing this so you might know that uh, we can actually uh, uh, write files or upload files to the main directory uh, so in s if we could bypass this like, extension we will upload PSP file instead of uh, the uh, PNG file and what will achieve by uploading a PSP file well we have the read access in that directory so if we can upload a PSP file we can execute a code that will actually read the index.php right the main PSP file that uh, we were uh, just looking so and you know perhaps we can find something uh, precious there so let's try that so what I will do is uh, I will inject a PHP code. Uh, there is also a tool called EXIF tool, E X I F T O O L. You can use that. But I'll write a very simple PHP code. Uh, that will be 
php and i want to uh, print out the entire uh, index dot php and close it um and then again i have to change this to php because that is only how the server will understand that it's not a png file but actually a dot php and only then this code will get executed and also i have to upload this to the main directory right because that is where our index that php is located so let's do this and let's send this to the server okay and if this was successful let's follow the redirection and if this this is the index.php let's try to see something called flag and guys there is our another flag well this doesn't looks like the uh, index.php but anyway we have a flag out here uh, you can read more about this on um, there so yeah that's it for this video guys if you have any questions leave it down in the comment section see you guys in the next video bye bye take care